Well, hey there, Larry. At least in our area, some of the biggest races are right here in Northern Virginia. It's been a pretty busy morning here. Cars coming in and out here, Potomac Elementary School. And in just a minute, we're going to introduce you to some of these voters that we spoke with. But first, let's break down the three biggest races, starting with the Senate race. I believe the most important part of serving is listening. Democrat Tim Kaine is a well-known face, and right now he's running away with this race, according to recent polling, up by 16 points in the latest poll. But his competitor, Republican Corey Stewart, trying to chip away at that lead, primarily with a message resembling President Trump's. I built $1 billion in new roads, implemented the nation's toughest crackdown on illegal aliens, and cut crime by 50%. Then there's Virginia's 10th district, where we have Jennifer Wexton facing off against Republican Barbara Comstock, the incumbent. Her message has been all about the economy. Barbara Comstock fought for and won tax cuts. Meanwhile, Wexton has used attack ads to try and liken Comstock to President Trump. She's Trump's unquestioning foot soldier. Then there's the other big house race. That's District 7, where we have the Republican incumbent David Bratt also focusing on taxes. He fought for the largest tax cut in a generation. As for the Democrat, Abigail Spanberger, it's been a positive message so far, focusing on her career in the CIA. It wasn't about partisan politics. I'm running for Congress because we Americans are in this together. Meanwhile, you may have noticed that I've got the umbrella today. It is, of course, pouring, and so there are concerns about turnout. We spoke with some of the people that are here today about why they came out to vote today. Personally, it's important to show my child that uh, taking part in civic activities is important. With all this rain, there's always the concern that people will stay home. Did that even go through your head or was Never. it? Never. And I've called everybody I can to say, I don't care who you're voting for, get out and vote. All right, so the good news, at least right here where I'm standing at this moment, I put the umbrella away. We don't have any rain coming down right now. Uh, if you're trying to time out your day, know that the polls are going to be open until 7 o'clock tonight. All you need to do is be in line by 7 and you'll be able to vote. Larry, send it back to you.